Imhotep, uh, I'm Professor Momo of the Dogon University of Thought. Um, I, I give, I, I do a, w a webinar class on Mondays, uh, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, last fr Friday, uh, May twentieth, I gave an assignment in my webinar class, and the assignment was uh, zero and eight. Which one of these numbers is responsible responsible for space and time? Which one? There's a particular number that is responsible for uh, for for time, and another number responsible for for space. Though between those two numbers, zero and eight. Well, I got a response uh, this morning from Queen Seeker. Queen Seeker uh, has been a student of the Dukon for some time now. Uh, Queen Seeker is 69 years old. And the response that she gave is what you see on YouTube now. You know, I, I actually uh, posted the, uh, uh, copy the, uh, the response uh, from the email. You see the date and everything. And it's on YouTube. So you read uh, the, uh, the response and you'll be convinced about what this 69 year old queen uh, is doing. Now, the reason why this is so relevant is because last night I uh, put up uh, a YouTube video about NASA. NASA and a few professors of physics, astrophysics, and all of that. And I, I basically challenge NASA and these professors about what they know about uh, uh, astrophysics and astronomy. I challenge them. I ask them several questions uh, to which I, I hold them accountable uh, for responses. So uh, I just want you to see what this 69 year old queen here, African queen, this sister is, is a queen. I mean, her intelligence shows that she's a queen. So now let me have uh, Queen Sika say a few words. Queen Sika, are you there? Yes, I am, Professor. All right, go ahead, Queen Sika, and, and talk about yourself. I'd like to say hello to everybody. And uh, as Professor Momo said, I've been in the webinar class for over a, a little, uh, a year and a half. And I am just so excited and expand, expanding so uh, because of what the professor is teaching. And what the professor is teaching really makes you go what I call deep beneath the surface, and that's expanding your mind and the wisdom that you have. And when he posed the question, um, which come first between the uh, number zero uh, and eight, uh, which come first uh which number represents space and which number represents time. So I'm thinking, and I'm looking, I can hear the professor's voice, and I'm saying, okay, zero is time and eight is space. And I'm looking uh, at the question that the professor had posed, then it started me to thinking as we do our exponents in the numbers that we were uh, giving in the IFA group, and you expand the numbers, and therefore, when you're expanding on the numbers, you're expanding on your mind to get the uh, lowest common denominator. And that causes people to think beyond the, uh, with, as we're used to thinking to a certain level. And when you expand your mind, you go uh, beyond that level to really look at what you're talking and thinking about. And this is what I have uh, been doing, and I guess what also helps me is doing the number counts every day. Uh, I count and I reverse the numbers as uh, we should and do the counting in the numbers. It's a whole language. Numbers is a whole language. And how when you know, and this gives you some control of your life, uh, when you know that you're getting upset, there's a number that you can call out to count to calm yourself and bring you back in balance. So this is what is so exciting to me about numbers. And I just was just, oh, it's just, I just like light up like a light bulb inside. <laughs> well, quick. It's just the, the intelligence that we have and to bring out the potential that we have at any age. <laughs> because I started learning this, like I said, a year ago. So, and how I'm expanding. And uh, it's really exciting to me. It's a journey that I want to continue on so that I can expand and uh, bring the, uh, my potential out, the intelligence of my potential, even at my age.
<laughs> well, Queen, I can tell you one thing for sure. You don't, you don't sound like the 69 year old who will be turning 70 next year. You sound like you are 50 something. So, uh, did, I mean, the whole world must be very, very pleased about uh, your potentials and how, in fact, humanity can learn about uh, how we never get really old because we don't allow our minds uh, to go old at all. Because most people who are much younger than you, there are people in their 50s who now sound uh, like they are in their 80s and so what you are showing here to humanity is the fact that we have to go beyond all the limitations that have been imposed upon us and that's the reason why i stand really firm in terms of the deceptions uh, because most people give up they give up when they hear uh, certain theories uh, that overwhelms them you see and people have not been giving facts about the, the about the universe at all about what happens around them so they get confused and so when people get confused then they give up you see and so with you queen this is beautiful because now you are saying look i'm not gonna buy fall or buy their confusion at all i'm just gonna stand tall and do what i have to do to improve me so this is wonderful queen and i you know if you want to say something add something to older people out there older people need to hear you you know people are not supposed to give up in life when they are 50 60 years old because you can add another 40 years to your life and i can tell you this for sure queen you have added another 40 years to your life and believe me you are going to keep dancing and swinging and in fact you know you're going to be farming in africa too okay <laughs> so get ready begin to get your farming shoes yeah <laughs> But this is this is quite true, and if I can encourage or inspire anyone, uh, it is something because I never did want to get old and have crutches and be on medication. Like you see now, there are so many people uh, that are on medic bags of medication they're taking, and I don't want to just hang on to life. I want to live life to my fullest potential as long as I'm on the planet, and that's my intention. And that's my potential. Wonderful, wonderful queen. Well, uh, we thank you very much. We have now added another resource uh, to YouTube that the whole world will love. So I say thank you, queen. And today we have, today is Monday, of course, Monday the 23rd of uh, May. We have our class this afternoon and uh, we are going to discuss the answer that you gave. Uh, mo most people, most of our students will be very pleased because a few of them who are younger uh, could not even come up with the answer that you came up with. So I'm very, very pleased that uh, you are here to tell the world that age is not a limitation as, no as long as mind is youthful. So thank you, Queen. I agree, and uh, I agree with this, as the African word goes, Ashe and Noma. Ashe, Ashe, Nama.